In this tutorial, we are going to be talking about different aggregation methods. For example, sum, average, min, max, count, count distinct and so on. So, let's start working. First, we need to insert our table. Let's go to this option add a chart. If I click on that, I will be able to insert my table here. I'm going to place it here and let's resize it a bit. Ok, that's perfect. Now, let's insert our data. First, in this dimension section, Instead of channel, I'm going to provide country. So let's put country here. Ok, perfect. And instead of record count in this metric box, I'm going to provide sales. Let's put sales here. Ok, perfect. Now we are able to see sales for each of these countries. But now we are interested in these numbers here. What these numbers represent? If I go to this metric box, I have my sales value here. But on this left side here, we have this little sum here. If, if we click on that, we will be able to see different aggregation methods. So basically, as you can see, sum is checked. So basically, we are summing all sales for this country. And also for this one and for this one and so on. This way, we are able to see total sales for this country. But let's say if you would like to see average sales. So if we want to see something like that, we can click on this average. If I click on that, I will be able to see average for each of these countries. Let me first just do one more thing. If I go to this tile button here, I will just scroll down a bit and let me find this option here. In this metric box, I'm gonna, for decimal precision, I'm gonna put zero. So we will be able to see only numbers without uh, decimal places. Now if I go to setup and again on this little icon here, I will be able to see average. So let me show you if I click on sum what will happen. Now we see different numbers. So basically we are seeing totals now. If I click on average, we will be able to see average sales for each of these countries. What is also important for us to see, for example? Let's say we would like to see lowest sale for each of these countries. If I would like to see something like that, I can click on this min method. So let's click on that. And now I'm able to see the lowest sale for each of these countries. Also we can see the opposite. For example, if we click on max, we'll be able to see the biggest sale for each of these countries. So you can see that in this case it's United States and also China, Germany and so on. So these are the most important methods that you will be using each and every day. But also what is important for us is this count and count distinct. What this count function represent? If I click on that, I will be able to see basically the number of transactions that we have for each of these countries. So for example, we are able to see that we have a lot of transactions in this first country, it's United States and also China and so on. But what is this count distinct option? Let me just show you one simple example. Instead of sales here, I'm gonna provide, let's provide Product name. So let's put product name here. So now we can see that we already have that count distinct chosen. So if I click on this, I will be able that we have only two aggregation methods, count and count distinct. And why is that so? So the reason is simple because in that column product name we have only text values so we can only count them basically. We cannot sum them or use any other aggregation function than these two presented. So if I click on count, we'll be able basically to see total number of products sold. But this time I would like to see number of unique products sold. So that's the reason why I would choose this count distinct. And also here we are able to provide name for this column. If I for example put unique unique products for example, if I click enter I will be able to change my column. And now we are able to see number of unique products sold for each of these countries. For example, for United States we have this number, China and so on. So that's how we could use that count distinct method. Now let's create our table with all these values. First I'm gonna remove these unique products. I don't need that. And I'm gonna use, this time let's use profit column. I'm gonna put profit here. And now we would like to see different aggregations. First, I would like to see total profit in this column here. So let's click on this button here. Sum is already chosen. And I would like to give this column a name, total profit. 
I'm gonna press enter and perfect we have total profit next I would like to see also profit column but this time I'm gonna click on this button here and I'm gonna instead of sum I'm gonna choose this average this way we will be able to see average profit for each of these countries so let's type AVG profit profit enter and now we are able to see both those metrics let's again insert this profit column and now instead of sum let's use min now we are able to see that for some countries we have lowest profit that is actually below zero it's negative value so that's also metric that could show us something so now that we included that let's change this name lowest profit and let's again use profit here instead of sum this time I will be using max this way we will be able to present the biggest profit biggest profit I'm gonna press enter and now we are able to present our values let's resize this table I'm gonna also need to resize those columns let's do it like this and now we will be able to present all these values that's perfect what we could also do now we could sort this table so let's scroll down we will be able to see this sort option and instead of country if I click on this I'll be able to choose let's choose for example total profit total profit and it will be descending and now we are sorted our table successfully the biggest profit is at the top and the lowest as we can see here at the bottom now I would like to include one more value I would like basically to include number of different products for each of these countries so if I scroll up this way we will also be using this product name and and we can leave this as you can see count distinct option and this way we have successfully presented unique number of products sold let's just change this column name let's press enter and that's it let's resize this one more time And this is how you could use different aggregation methods in Google Locker Studio. Also, let me just mention a few more. If I click, for example, on this one here, you are able to see that we have some interesting aggregation methods. This median, for example, standard deviation and this variance. If I click on this, I will be able to see median value. For example, you can see here. If I click on standard deviation, I will be also able to see standard deviation and also for this variance these are not that common aggregation methods but for you it's good that you know that that you have those options here 